Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn about liver abscess on ultrasound. A hepatic abscess refers to a localized collection of pus in the liver due to an infection. Bacterial infections are the most common type of infections that reach the liver. Bacteria can reach the liver in several ways such as from the bile ducts, like if someone has gallstones or cholangitis. Through the portal vein which drains the intestines, so infections like appendicitis or diverticulitis can spread up to the liver. Bacteria can even reach the liver from the bloodstream during sepsis or directly from a nearby infected area or surgery. Amoebic abscesses are less common. They are caused by a parasite called Entamoeba histolytica. This happens more in developing countries. It spreads when people drink or eat food contaminated with this parasite. A fungal abscess, which is caused mostly by candida, is rare, but it can occur in immunocompromised people, like those on chemotherapy or with AIDS. A hydatid cyst can also become superinfected and filled with pus. Now we will look at the signs and symptoms in such patients. They are somewhat nonspecific. Fever is almost always present, sometimes with chills. There is often pain in the upper right side of the abdomen, the right upper quadrant. Loss of appetite, nausea, and vomiting are common. Fatigue and weight loss can occur over time. About 25% present with jaundice. Laboratory findings along with ultrasound findings are very important for diagnosis and treatment. The white blood cell count will be increased. The liver enzymes such as ALT, AST, and ALP are often elevated. The CRP and ESR are also elevated. In case of a pyogenic abscess, the blood culture will be positive. The serology test will be positive for E. histolytica IgG antibody in an amoebic abscess. We will compare the normal ultrasound appearance of the liver with the appearance of the liver having an abscess. The normal liver has a homogeneous echo texture. That means the echoes are evenly distributed with no patchy or irregular areas. It appears as a smooth, uniform, medium gray structure. This bright curved structure is the diaphragm. Most abscesses appear as hypoechoic or anechoic lesions, dark areas compared to normal liver tissue. They are filled with medium level internal echoes, which gives them a heterogeneous appearance. The internal echoes are due to debris, necrosis, pus, or septations. The abscess can also have irregular thick walls, and it will always have posterior acoustic enhancement. This bright area behind the abscess is the enhancement. It always occurs behind fluid-filled structures, so this feature lets us know that it is a fluid-filled structure and not a solid mass. A solid mass will not have posterior acoustic enhancement. When we apply color Doppler, we will not see any internal vascularity inside an abscess. An abscess will not have any blood flow. This lack of vascularity on Doppler is another feature that helps us in distinguishing an abscess from a malignant lesion. This abscess appears mainly anechoic with internal echoes and septations. Some abscesses can appear mainly anechoic with echogenic thick irregular walls and internal echoes. Posterior acoustic enhancement is also present here. There was no internal vascularity on color Doppler. All these features indicate a liver abscess. Here is another case of a liver abscess. It is mostly anechoic and has internal echoes and thick irregular walls. Posterior acoustic enhancement is present. It had no internal vascularity on collar Doppler. This was an amoebic liver abscess. Sometimes an abscess may be multiloculated. Locules are compartments separated by thick walls. 
In this image, the abscess appears to have three compartments or locules separated by a thick wall. A pyogenic abscess may also be present with gas. A gas-filled abscess will show a hyperechoic area followed by dirty posterior acoustic shadowing. Dirty shadowing appears behind a gas-filled structure and this shadow will have a gray color. A clean shadow is seen behind very dense structures such as stones and those shadows are completely black. This shadow is gray in color so it tells us that it's behind a gas-filled structure. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.